Mayans are bad police. The Mayans are the original, like the aborigines of Mexico, right? And yeah. some did believe that they are, uh, that they were aliens. No, I mean, I don't know if you really believe that or not. I, I do. Oh. Oh. I, well, but some did believe because they were so smart and their technology was far in advance for their time that, that some people thought they were of this earth. I don't know. I don't know. And then Tim talking about the giant pictures, you know, the, the, the crop pictures, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, you know, maybe, maybe. Yeah, Karen, anywhere you want, find a seat there. I don't know, but I know the Egyptians were also great scientists, and there were many, many civilizations that, that people were great scientists way before their time, so maybe also the people from Egypt. Uh -huh. No, you, you got it from Israel, or Egypt, Israel. Okay, so that's different. I mean, uh, in, the Israelis are, are also an old ancient civilization, also very intelligent. Are you guys from this earth? <laughs> Silly question, right? <laughs> Thank you. Come on, Tim. Do you really think they were from another planet? Oh, I didn't say that. Oh, he said that. Okay, we'll uh, did, you say that did, you, did you did you watch uh, Steven Spielberg's uh, TV series Taken? Taken. Like alien abduction. Adoption, right. That is a very, very fascinating TV series. We shouldn't have seen it. Okay, people, this is the Windy City Club. Right? <laughs> Windy City, not right. a single club. Right? We've been around since 1993. <laughs> right? And I believe we shall continue to be around. Right? If you are taken in some night, right, uh, we'll blame it uh, 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 on Douglas, okay? <laughs> okay? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's my fault. I entertain his questions and we go off to the wrong, the wrong direction. Okay. Uh, this month, uh, we have a special guest speaker, but he's one of our own. We want to say welcome home to Ivan. <laughs> Late, later on, uh, he'll be uh, presenting to us uh, his different ideas about dreams, goals, and hopes, and, and maybe introduce a little bit about, uh, I guess, the Vancouver area, uh, Swamish. Is that it? Okay. Sure. Right. So, uh, but at this time, uh, I'm going to let uh, our hostess, uh, Anna, make an announcement. Uh, Jennifer and Mike. Let's welcome Anna. Okay. If you are the first time to come here, this club, and you want to keep on top in touch with us, uh, you can leave the message here. Uh, left your name and email, then you can get our every month's uh, notice. Mm. In this month, also Clinton and Jennifer's birthday. So, oh, should we yeah, to say happy birthday to them? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Jennifer, Hi. speech. Oh, what? What? Thank you. How old are you? Right, I, I think Jennifer is ageless. She's timeless. She's a classic. Right? And I, am, I will be 21 this month. Yeah. <laughs> I know, so oh huh? <laughs> 21 by a fact. Right, we also have another special announcement. Uh, Tim has something to share with us uh, with his wife Sylvia. Uh, something concerning social issues of Shenzhou and social issues of Taiwan that we want to help them uh, to deal with. Hopefully, we are an intelligent group here that can help them come to a good uh, conclusion to this situation. Uh, Tim, Sylvia? But because this club is about cultural differences and That's different okay. cultures uh, getting together and working out different problems, uh, I had a very close friend of mine recently come to me with a little problem that came up uh, that they, they couldn't, they didn't know exactly how to do or what to do about it. And, uh, uh, and actually when they explained the problem to me, I was stumped too. I didn't quite know what to do about it. Part of it is a little difference between uh, 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 what you would do in, in Taiwan if you're an English speaker, a native English speaker, and what you would, how a uh, person, a Taiwanese uh, person, 
would deal with that when a, a problem comes up. And, of course, uh, uh, the person who knows much more about it than I do is Sylvia. Well, I think you should tell me. Well, uh, so Sylvia will tell you the, the problem, and then we would like your help. We would like your help in giving suggestions. Actually, the problem is from my friend. Uh, he is an English teacher, too. Uh, maybe two months ago, his uh, community had the two new neighbors who are English speakers. And then uh, last week, he got a phone call from his uh, community committee. Someone from the committee called him because he's an English teacher. So the committee people wanted him to pass a message to the native speakers, so-called the, the, the new neighbors in their, na uh, in, the, in their community. Because uh, every, for these two months, every morning, uh, they, 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 got, they got up early and they made the noises. So the people uh, living under, or the floor under, had the complaints. But uh, maybe these people living under, they don't want to go forward to talk with these English speakers. So the committee people want him to tell them. What kind of noises do they make? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because uh, they, have, uh, they have morning classes, I think. Oh. Yeah, I think they just get up early in the morning, they make some noises. It bothers the people below them. Yeah, it's and the, my friend, uh, he thinks it's not appropriate for him to pass this message, so he doesn't know what to do. So I really would like to ask you to help us. <laughs> yes. Question, um, how early is... Five, five, five. 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 That's very early. Okay. Yeah, very early. Five yeah. or five thirty. And that is the same class. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, they're holding classes then? Or? Oh, no, no. no he, he just gets up in the morning. Right. Apparently he makes noise. Maybe they're early people. Yes. They're walking around and preparing things to go to classes. So. Sylvia? Yes? This uh, foreigner, does he speak Chinese? No, okay, not so, at all. So then how did they talk to him? Oh, how they did they tell him that? English or Chinese? Oh, they have they, they, they didn't communicate. They're not sure how they asked the message, right? Oh, no, the committee people called my friend in the community. community. So how communicate with your friend in English or in oh, Chinese? My friend is Taiwanese. Oh. But he's an English teacher. Yeah. Oh. Yes. I think, I think they should have a landlord. So if they have any problem, they should talk to the landlord. Yeah, oh. that's right. So my friend should contact the landlord. No, the community, so the community should contact the landlord. Oh. Right? Oh. It's not your friend's problem, it's the landlord's problem. Or, or another suggestion is if, there, if there's a lot of people that are having this complaint. The no, only the people. Ab uh, above. Uh, above. Below. Uh, or below. 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 <coughs> um, no. Then. If they're afraid to, you know, say something directly to these people or can't communicate, then somebody needs to pass a message, whether it be a written message in English, I think a nice message just saying that